Hi, the cool and wacky drone shot animation in PowerPoint you are going to learn today is this one. It all looks normal till I show the drone shot like this. Can you see how beautiful the change of angle works here? If I want to show another angle, I can move my camera like this and you can explore more of the photo and this really is a game changer. Now let me show you the change in angle again and you can see that we have a different perspective to a photo and if I want to move the camera back I can do so and it gives the shot from a down angle facing the sky. Isn't that beautiful? Would you believe that I have not used any drone camera here? In fact I have not even used a camera and this is an effect I created from two random photos that I took directly from PowerPoint. And that is the beautiful trick you're going to learn today. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program available online. Recently, when I came back from a vacation to Spain, Morocco and Portugal, I wanted to share my photos with my friends. I didn't want to share the usual boring 2D photos, so I tried to experiment with a couple of photos that I shot and the idea that you just saw is the one I got. Let me show you how to do this from scratch. I'm going to pick up some random photos directly from inside PowerPoint. Of course, you can work with any kind of picture that you like. Let me go to insert pictures and I'm going to go to stock images. The reason why I'm doing this with stock photos is just to prove to you that it is possible for you to work with this technique with pretty much any photo that you want. This is one of the pictures that I saw and this is the one that I used earlier. Let me say insert and I'm going to keep this over here. Then let us go to another slide and let us insert the picture of say mountains. And I found this photo to be pretty nice. So we've got two photos. This one where the lady is sitting on a rock and the second one is the scenery. So I'm going to replace this scenery with the scenery here. So that is what I'm going to do. And you know how to do it, it's a fairly simple thing to do. You select the picture, go to picture format and go to remove background option which is available directly inside PowerPoint. You can see that these pink areas are the ones that PowerPoint considers as part of the background. If I say keep changes, this is what will happen. Naturally, this is not what we are looking for. We want to do the isolation a bit more carefully. So once again, let us go to remove background and see what we get. Now, I want to include these elements here and I want to remove some of these elements. So you can go to this option here called mark areas to keep and my cursor turns into a crayon and I'm going to just draw lines across so I can include these elements onto my scene. It's a bit of iterative process. Sometimes it requires a lot of patience for you to get just exactly the places that you want. Now you see that some of this which was considered as background is included in the scene. So let us go to mark areas to remove and I want to remove this area. Yeah, that is beautiful. So let us do that for this area as well and this area. And I want to remove the area here also. Yeah, pretty much there. You don't really have to be very precise with your selection because anyway we are going to have a background. So this much of details is good enough. Once you are happy with the selection, you can go to keep changes or you can just hit escape. Let us first cut this and then place her right into this scene. Now you can see that there is a bit of a difference in terms of the dimensions. You can see that it is getting cut here. That is because the earlier photo that we had is 4 is to 3 aspect ratio and this picture in the background is 16 is to 9. So you need to make sure that such adjustments are made. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to click and drag from the corner so I can expand it slightly. Let us have the first slide deleted. We don't really have much work for that. Let me right click and duplicate this slide and I'm going to make some adjustments to the size of the two photos. So I'm going to select the one in the background. I'm going to expand this slightly and I can take this picture, expand it a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty beautiful. Now, if you want to know exactly what part of this picture is actually coming into the scene, you would be able to see that using the thumbnail view here. Can you see that this portion is not really that much visible? That is because here in the thumbnail view, you can see that only this portion is shown. So it looks pretty nice. Let us right click, duplicate this slide again. 
Let us change the angle a little more. This time I am going to move this lady to the left hand side and I am going to increase the size even more. So that this is pretty much like my zooming in. I can change the location of the background photo by using my arrow key. Can you see here? I am moving this in my slide area and the reflection is shown here in the thumbnail. In this case, I have just taken two variations of the original photo. Of course, you can work with different angles. You can adjust the size of the photo in the front and the one in the background. You can move them in different places. It is completely up to you. Once you are happy with everything, you can always select everything, go to transitions, go to morph and then you can change the duration of the transition to around 8 seconds because we want the panning to happen very slowly just as it happens with a drone shot. Now let us go to the first slide, go to slideshow and see our beautiful creation. So this is our opening scene and it is a very beautiful introduction and then on hitting my page down you can see that we are able to move the picture and the background is also moving in and as a result there is a very beautiful effect of a drone shot that we are able to get here. So with nothing but a simple morph animation you are able to create some spectacular effects. Now I have just hit page up so you are able to see the angle from a different one. And once again, I'm going to hit page up. So we go back to our first slide and this is our shot from a distance. So with a bit of creativity, imagination and some basic tools in PowerPoint, you really can create magic in PowerPoint. And in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint mastery program, you learn how to think in a different way. So you can use the basic tools that are available for everybody but you can use them in a very different way and impress your audience with your PowerPoint skills. So click on the link in the description box below the video and learn more about this program. If you want to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, you can click on the link that you see on the screen or in the description box below the video and I will share the free email training course. And from then on, I will share some interesting tips and tricks in PowerPoint that I don't normally share on YouTube or any other platform, those tricks, those ideas are purely reserved for our email subscribers.